To be honest with you guys, I don't know. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Cynic Alex, and we finally got the fifth sneak peek for the March update, and we thought it was going to be a mid-month tier 3 announcement for Icarus, or maybe Kingpin, or Electra, someone connected to sort of Daredevil and the Defenders. It's much more bizarre than that. Remember how we all felt about Icarus when he was announced for the Defenders update? Well, we're about to feel that way again. Odysseus, King Arthur, Attila the Hun, <laughs> what do these mythic beings have in common? Mythic, you know, these characters of mythology. Uh, this hero has spent time next to some of the most famous people in the history of Earth. She has enjoyed her time with humans for endless ages and will continue her activities to protect humankind in Marvel Future Fight. The Sorceress of the Eternals. This hero is about to join her people to stand with the Prime Eternal. Stay tuned for our next patch. We're going to be seeing the patch notes soon, and we're getting uh, Psylocke. So let's go take a look at the sneak peek itself. Over on Twitter, this cosmically stunning superhero joins her eternal leader in the marvel future fight update now it's very familiar if you remember the sneak peek for icarus that's how this uh sneak peek starts but they added to it oh they zoom whoa some weird weird actions here anyways they zoom out from icarus and this was originally the sneak peek and it stopped here i believe but now they've added to the sneak peek piece by piece and she slams in there's some butterflies and then Cersei's just kind of vibing over there on this other mountaintop. Now, yes, she looks a lot like Psylocke. Let's get that out of the way. And yes, there are butterflies. Yes, let's get that out of the way. And yes, the butterflies are purple. So yes, she looks very much like Psylocke. And it's funny because she's actually going to end up looking very much like another character in the game, um, Minerva. So there's actually a lot of coincidences and like overlapping there. But yes, this is Cersei, a brand new character and one of the Eternals. So it's really cool how they're doing this. I'm not necessarily sure if I want them to continue this theme for the rest of the Eternals, um, but it'd be cool if the picture sort of keeps zooming out and all of the Eternals pop up on different mountaintops. I just wish they had put more effort into the sneak peek as far as the mountaintops go, because this is like, you know, really the worst part of the sneak peek. And it's just like a five-year-old drew these mountains. Like, yeah, it looks like one of those funky bike games that you buy that you get on the, the app store for free where the you know the the it's like a it's like a physics game and the the bicycle like wobbles like crazy and you have to drive over these bumpy misshapen hills yeah that's what these hills are giving me vibes up so anyways we're getting cersei as a brand new character i have so many questions first of all how good how strong is she gonna be sure second of all is she gonna be tier three-able third of all is icarus gonna be tier three-able did we just get two tier threes are we going to have three tier threes per update? My wallet can handle that. Or or are we going to get none? Are we going to get a new character instead of a tier three? I honestly don't know. I have all these questions and we don't have any answers until we get the patch notes. I'm recording this video at like three o'clock in the morning. I release this video at nine o'clock in the morning. Maybe between now and when I go to sleep and I wake up, they le release the patch notes. Who knows, man? All right. So I had actually just finished recording this video that I cut in the middle of because after I finished recording it and speculating on what Cersei could be, they dropped the patch notes. Literally, I recorded the video at 12.50 a.m. and at like 3.10 a.m., like 10 minutes after this posted, I hop on my computer while uh, Adobe Premiere Pro is processing the video and I see, oh, they posted the patch notes. So I'm just gonna cut all the speculation out because obviously it's pointless. And let's just check out uh, what Cersei is, because Cersei has arrived as the newest member of the Eternals. After spending eons with humankind, she will now use her powers as a skilled sorceress to protect Marvel Future Fight Universe. She's actually not a sorceress. She she ma manipulates molecules and atoms, but she masks her power as magic. So, yeah, anywho. Uh, so the patch is going to happen in waves. It's a rolling patch, and uh, it's going to be happening on the 31st. So... It's going to be happening tomorrow. No, tonight. Today. Today, tonight. Wow, 9 p.m. Pacific. That means midnight Eastern time. That's late. But, fingers crossed, I think the last two mid-month patches have been early. So, yeah, this one hopefully will be earlier than midnight because that's really late. Anyways, Cersei, she's a blast type. So yeah, I speculated in my video, I heavily speculated in my video that she was going to be a universal to replace Captain Marvel. Uh, swing and a miss. That was a huge miss there. So yeah, sure. 
Uh, she's available through the premium chest, the shield lab processor, and bio selector. So she is 100% free. So yeah, she's a free to play character. She's the very first free to play biometric character that we've gotten since I believe Scorpion back in November. So that's really cool. First brand new biometric uh, selector character. So save those Shadowland selectors. If you haven't played Shadowland up to stage 15 this week or up to stage whatever 35, uh, you can play them and get bio selectors and use them on Cersei when the uh, when the patch lands. Just save them all in your inventory. That's pretty dope. Uh, let's check out how Cersei uh, looks. So her leadership is garbage, but that you know is pretty obvious. She she wants to use the Icarus leadership. She wants the the Prime Eternal uh, backing her up. Her uh, regular six-star passive is debuff removal for all Eternals. This is very PVP meta, but this also helps for some PVE content, uh, getting out of the tornadoes, getting out of the time freeze and world boss. It can help against uh, Mephisto and Null getting out of their attacks, but of course, we'll talk about why that's not possible yet for the Eternals. Her tier two passive is just a straight 30% damage buff for the Eternals. So that's getting into kind of crazy wombo combo territory if you put icarus with cersei and colossus colossus obviously gives you the debuff uh, the 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 defense the damage reduction but cersei and icarus are combining for 90 percent all attack that is mental and they have the debuff cleanse so he might not have the defense to keep up but he might not need it baby if he's one-shotting people left and right it just really doesn't matter so it'll be very interesting to see uh, how that plays out. But so she has definite support uh, capabilities, which again, I speculated she didn't. I thought she was going to be a standalone bot, bad, bis, bad bitch boss because they she's supposed to be really strong. Anyways, I mean, she could still be really strong. You can use a different leadership and still get her 30% all attack. So she still basically always gives herself 30% all attack, which is cool. But yeah. Uh, and then her skills, magic whip. Oh, yeah. Uh, delusion glow, energy shield, which is very generic phantom blast and beads of destruction <laughs> i like number one and number five anyways we got burn and paralysis very meta for abx but we don't need blast females and there's no way she competes with cable and stuff so yeah it doesn't matter uh we've got stun with six seconds of immunity and accumulation this is the accumulation when you receive damage so you're gonna need to you're gonna need to take some damage it's the, it's the sharon rogers accumulation it's the luke cage warming up accumulation it's 15 percent for each one percent up to a total a maximum of 15 percent so basically you get a maximum of 15 times 15 which is a 225 percent attack buff yeah hachimachi that's a very 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 large attack buff and it's a six second accumulation which is pretty short which kind of sucks but the skill is on an eight second cooldown so it's kind of like sharon where you can spam it uh on every single rotation phantom blast deals burn and charm and gives her invincibility so she's got immunity and invincibility and then her last skill beads of destruction has burn and minus 50 all defense down for six seconds minus 50 is not too spicy we'll have to see what the animations are like there's no iframe ignore there's no healing uh there's no reflect yeah she's missing a lot i think maybe because she's free to play i don't know hopefully they're gonna beef her up with her uniform Hopefully, they're also going to make her universal with her uniform. I don't know. Should all the should all the Eternals be universal? I, I don't know. Yes, no. I, I kind of don't. I kind of wish they... I kind of hope they're not, I guess, because then it would be kind of lame, like 10 really strong universal characters. It's just going to make the game all about universal types. And I would love to get, like, combat Gilgamesh and stuff like that. Yeah. But you guys, you guys let me know what you feel about her uh, typing being blast and not universal. And then there's her new icon. Pretty cool. I think she looks really cool. She kind of gives me like Raven vibes. She gives me goth girlfriend vibes, which is nice. I like that. We don't have one of those in Marvel Future Fight yet, uh, but we do now because Sister Grimm, eh, no, no thanks. Uh, and then surprisingly, there's no tier three. I looked high. I looked low. There's no tier three here unless it's it's hiding somewhere and you know maybe they no it's not here anyways i don't know maybe for april fools there's gonna be a surprise tier three we don't know but anyways there's no tier three in the patch notes but other information interestingly enough added text a description text was added to the cold element for world boss mephisto mephisto has a high resistance to all elements except cold now keep in mind they're not changing world boss mephisto they're not going to make world boss mephisto now harder for non-cold elemental damage. All this means is that Mephisto is supposed to be very resistant to all elemental damages except for cold damage. Now, somebody needs to tell this to Rogue and Ghost Rider and Luna Snow. 
because Rogue and Ghost Rider are really good, do a lot of damage to Mephisto. And on the flip side, Luna kind of sucks against Mephisto. Damage, her damage is not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. But she's just not very good. So it's kind of surprising that we're seeing this despite the fact that if I were to guess, <laughs> I would have guessed the opposite. I would have been like, you know, Mephisto is really tanky against cold damage because Luna's terrible. But Ghost Rider and, and, and Rogue and others are actually good. Scarlet Witch wasn't even that bad, right? So yeah, that's an interesting turn of events. Hopefully we get more OP cold damage characters. Like maybe Iceman could finally get a good uniform in a tier three. Uh, who knows? But yeah, that's that's honestly pretty cool. I like that. I like that specificity. I think it's I think it's nice. It could also mean that people are gonna simps are gonna read into it. People are gonna read into it. Uh, no problem being a simp, by the way. But anyways, people are gonna read into it saying that this is a clue that Luna's gonna get a uniform. Eh, I don't think so, man. That's a huge reach. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, that those are the patch notes. Forget my throw my uh, speculation out the window. Those are the patch notes. Yeah, that's Cersei. Free to play. Bio selector. Pretty cool. We also have a bunch of events for April Fool April Fools, besides me bumbling it up verbally. We've got the in-game character model for Cersei. She looks hot as hell. She's looking nice. Okay, cute. Uh, we've got an all-uniform sale. So all uniforms in the game are on sale. You, you guys go nuts for this. So yeah, let's, let's go. All uniforms on sale. We've got a seven-day check-in event, which is pretty normal. It's what you can use those bio selectors on, on um, Cersei. That's cool. We've got a 50% unequipped discount for comic cards, which I may actually take advantage of. We've got a one-time gift uh, of 100 black antimatter. I think it's actually once or twice. I don't know, but that's cool. 100 this time instead of 50. <whistles> We're moving on up. Uh, we've got the, the world boss event, which is nice for some extra rewards there, some extra tier two materials. We got a platinum gift box thing, and then we got a character ranking event for Cersei. There you go. There's some other stuff that's gonna be on sale, like a violet box for Cersei. So if you don't want to use your biometric selectors on her, you can, let me show you, the Violet Eternal Chest. You can you can splash some money and you can open, you can crack open some chests. They got bios of hers. They got um, gold, excuse me, not crystals. Uh, they got black antimatter, chaos, Northstones, stones, and they got mythic Uru. This one's kind of yikes. This is probably the, the, the worst chest. I like that they're experimenting, but these should be Odin's blessings, not not goofy uh, mythic Uru. So yeah, I would steer clear of this chest. The the one with comic cards is way better. The one with tier three materials is way better. This is definitely the worst chest, unfortunately, for uh, Cersei. And then there's also a new relay pack, but it seems very, uh, very run of the mill. So yeah, there you go. That's the patch notes. Icarus and Cersei, friends, best friends forever. Are they going to break the meta together or am I just gonna simp for Cersei and that's it? Well definitely one of those things is going to happen so let me know if you think the other thing's going to happen thanks so much for watching this frankenstein zombie video and i'll see you in the next one take care